There's a lady right in the middle of the second row. You win a copy of the sound soundtrack. And you do as well. Okay. Um, in the film, uh, Ivan says to Neil that he never did know when to stop. Uh, how long do you think a person should pursue their dreams, even if they're unrealistic, before they should give up? Like, when, it's a really, you know? really, really, really good question. Best question I've been asked all week, and I've been asked about 50,000 questions. Well, it was either that one or can you fix my cat, but I think <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Was that, that was you that last, last night? night? That was last night. That was cat. Tell me it was <laughs> Who was that? That was, I, I was there, so... That was, that you were was, there. That was, Jesus. That was weird. <laughs> How long should you carry on for your dreams? How long should you pursue your dream Forever. if it's not, if it's not There's working? There's no end. Why? If it's, even if it's not working, it doesn't matter, you can still dream. But sometimes don't you think you could be happier doing, you know, as, as we've seen from, from how Neil's ended up being a, journal, a, 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 a really talented journalist and do, being very successful and very happy at it, if he was still struggling with rock guy, he might be miserable. So, I don't know, I think you have it's to listen very, to your gut, listen yeah. to your heart and, and, oh no, that sounds like a Disney film. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, I think the movie's a shout out to all those failed bands in garages and, and uh, all those, those people who, look, the, the division between success and failure in the media business is a, 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 a hair's breadth. It's, it's, it's about luck as much as it's about, as, as much as it's about talent. You two came to this country, what is it, 25, 30 years ago in the 80s, and, tried, and they went home that not a single record label wanted to sign them. Not one single A&R guy wanted to know them. They went back to Dublin. One A&R guy followed them back to Dublin. The rest is history. <laughs> if that A&R guy hadn't done that, would they have been you two? Would they have stayed the course? So, look, that's the way this business works. That's the way the film business works. That's the way any business works in terms of the entertainment industry. Never listen to what anybody tells you because they don't know what they're talking about and just do what you want to do. Because it's only ever somewhat one person's opinion that affects, you know, um, often affects your reaction to, to what you're doing yourself. And, uh, you know, it's often just nonsense. 